the clock is ticking for Congress to pass health care reform this year that would both stop tax dollars from going to abortion and would defund Planned Parenthood. Republican senators have until September 30th to use a special budget procedure to pass legislation with a simple majority of 51 votes. And what's seen as a health care Hail Mary pass, Senators Lindsey Graham and Bill Cassidy are proposing a health care reform bill that would stop tax dollars for abortion, defund Planned Parenthood, and would redirect tax dollars to community health centers. The bill is also sponsored by Senators Dean Heller and Ron Johnson. Democrats are unanimously against the bill, so Republicans would lose the vote if just three GOP senators oppose it. Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri joins us now from Capitol Hill. Thank you for your time. Well, Catherine, nice to be with you. Thank, thank you for your work. Senator, you endorse the Graham-Cassidy legislation. Why is this health care reform you think pro-lifers should get behind? Well, I think it's another step in the, dire in a, in the direction of, of reaffirming our commitment to pro-life issues as a Congress and as a country. Uh, you know, so far this year, uh, probably the uh, most important thing we've done in the long term is put a judge on the, on the Supreme Court that we think will look at the law and try to interpret the law in the Constitution and uh, rather than to try to determine what the law should have said in, in a judge's opinion, what the law and the Constitution do say, we think that's good for the pro-life cause. Uh, the elimination of that last Obama regulation that would have prevented states from not using uh, Planned Parenthood as a provider. Uh, and then in all of the uh, versions of trying to move on from Obamacare, every one of the versions the Senate voted on included strong pro-life language, as does the Graham Cassidy. I was glad to be the first member of Republican leadership uh, to join those two senators and others in advocating that this is, this is the direction we ought to be looking. More choices to the states, uh, but more protections for life. Many see this Graham Cassidy bill as a last ditch effort unlikely to pass. Do you expect your fellow Republican senators Murkowski and Collins will support it? They have both defended Planned Parenthood. Well, I think it gives so much discretion to states. I hope that uh, all of my colleagues can look at that and think that that's not only the right way to, to provide health care, but it's a, it's a conservative Republican view of getting decisions made closer to people. Uh, in terms of the Graham, Graham Cassidy structure itself, again, you know, even though it makes our, our job more difficult, we're, all, we're trying to do this in all cases in ways that provide uh, pro-life protections. We are nine months into this administration now. You mentioned some of the pro-life accomplishments so far, but many pro-lifers are impatient. Planned Parenthood is not yet defunded. What are you going to do, Senator, to ensure that that happens? Ideally, I'd like to see the administration return back uh, to where President Reagan and uh, his predecessor, uh, President Bush, or his successor, rather, were. For 12 years, uh, we had by, by executive order that you couldn't give family planning money to any organization that also uh, performed abortions. That's the cleanest uh, way to do this. It's, it's certain in its determination, and it's been upheld by the Supreme Court. Senator... If Congress cannot defund Planned Parenthood, what will this mean for the 2018 elections? People who are, who are focused, as you and I are on this issue, should be looking at what, what has been done about the willingness to vote on these issues, even if the vote was unsuccessful on the floor, as it turned out to be on repealing Obamacare, uh, to continue to have uh, the life issue as one of the front issues uh, in this national debate. Is it worth shutting down the government if pro-life measures don't pass? Is that something you would be willing to do? Do you think it's worth it? I don't think shutting down the government's ever a very good strategy. And, of course, lots of other programs that people are committed to life support uh, would, be, would be put at jeopardy, uh, feeding programs and other programs if that happened. Now, if there's some strategy where that can produce a, uh, a, a final result, that's a different thing rather than just to try to prove a point. Uh, so far, shutting down the government's never been a very valid uh, point prover. I don't think it would be there. Uh, but being willing to put people on record 
uh, does have lasting impact on what voters get to know about the people uh, they send to Washington, the people they elect to office. I think ultimately uh, that's one of the better things we can do and we clearly have shown we're willing to do. Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri, thank you for your time. Thank you. For reaction and more analysis, we turn now to our experts. Andrew Guernsey is legislative assistant for the Government Affairs Team at Family Research Council. Autumn Christensen is policy director at the Susan B. Anthony List. She previously served as director of the Congressional Pro-Life Caucus in the House of Representatives for over a decade. Welcome both to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having Good us on. Here. First off, both of your groups, Family Research Council, Susan B. Anthony List, recently came out in support of the Graham-Cassidy bill. Why? Well, the Graham-Cassidy bill offers the best and last chance for Republicans to follow through on their promises to defund Planned Parenthood, mm -hmm. stop taxpayer funding of abortion, and repeal and replace Obamacare. Uh, on the issue of Planned Parenthood, this would stop funding from the federal government to Planned Parenthood for a year uh, from the lion's share of its mm -hmm. programs. It would really decimate Planned Parenthood from being able to really engage in their number one uh, activity, which is the heart of their business model, and that's abortion. That's right. They commit over 330,000 abortions every year. It's the heart of their business model, and they don't deserve our federal funds. And this is our last best chance to do it. Autumn. Yeah. And in addition to that, for ever since Obamacare was first rolled out, our two organizations have tracked the number of plans in Obamacare that cover abortion on demand. Mm -hmm. And we've found uh, roughly 900 Obamacare plans in the most recent year cover abortion. In five states, there are no plans that exclude abortion. All of them pay for abortion on demand. And so Graham Cassidy would rectify that by bringing, uh, bringing those funds into a place where they would not be able to be spent on abortion. As we just heard, it sounds as if Senator Blunt seems to think his colleagues, Senators Murkowski and Collins, can support the Graham-Cassidy bill. Do you agree? Well, I don't look at Obamacare has been a disaster for Alaska. Mm. If there's any senator that should be the first in line to repeal and replace Obamacare, it should be Senator Murkowski. Hmm. Uh, so I believe that this Graham-Cassidy bill offers a great solution to give that power back to the states, including states like Alaska, so they can design health care programs that protect life and provide better insurance solutions for families than Obamacare. Autumn, what do you think? Sure, yeah, and on the Planned Parenthood issue in particular, Planned Parenthood does 97% of the abortions in Alaska. Wow. So for Senator Murkowski to look at this issue, the funds will still be available for women's health. They can be done at community health centers and other alternative sites that outnumber Planned Parenthood by 44 to 1. Uh, so even on the Planned Parenthood issue specifically, we think that there is good reason for her to vote for the bill. Even though we do want to be optimistic about the outcome of these pro-life protections, if three GOP senators oppose this bill, it's not going to pass. And if that happens, what are the next steps? How will we defund Planned Parenthood? Well, we are not going to give up. We're not stopping. So this bill is helpful in that it is a bill that only needs a simple majority. It can't be filibustered. Time runs out at the end of, the, of September for this particular bill, but if this bill doesn't get done, we will go on to the next reconciliation bill, the next bill that only needs a simple majority, which will mostly deal with taxes, but we will be insisting that there be language to cut off funding to Planned Parenthood there too. So Republicans are out of excuses. Mm -hmm. Really, this is their last chance to get it done, and the pro-lifers who elected both this Congress and President Donald Trump uh, to follow through on those pro-life promises really don't deserve anything less. Thank you both for continuing to monitor these specific pro-life protections. Thank you both Andrew Garnsey, Autumn Christensen.